Hi, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is your friend Han here, and uh, it is absolutely great to see you here tonight. Tonight, I want to talk to talk about something very, very serious. That is your WordPress blog, okay? And as internet marketing, we all tend to using WordPress as the platform uh, to, uh, you know, marketing our products, set up our blogs, and uh, uh, set up our opium pages. And uh, you know, WordPress is all wonderful. Everything we all know that. Well, first of all, it's free, right? And uh, uh, plus, you can add awesome, awesome themes and plugins to make your life so much easier. But the biggest pit pitfall by using WordPress plugin is that uh, it's open source. So what's that uh, to all the hackers? Well, it's open book because they have all the codes, right? So uh, if you just install a bare bone WordPress blog and not install any security plugins to protect your blog, you're open. Basically, your blog is open for attack or in worst case scenario, you are people going to using your blog to hosting those uh, fake bank checkout pages, PayPal checkout pages you don't even know about, okay? And then you know, maybe the Fed's going to come after you uh, because you are the owner of the domain, you are the, dom you are the owner of the website, right? So uh, those are vulnerability. You really need to uh, take a couple minutes and take, you know, uh, take some time to study how to protect them. The good news is it can be protected uh, before it happens. And in fact, it's much easier to protect this uh, before all that hacking things happens to you, okay? Uh, so if you've been on the internet uh, for a while, I'll guarantee you being hacked or being attacked a couple of times by now, isn't it? All right, so uh, spe especially those uh, uh, bots are looking for to leave your crazy comments, right? So um, we know that WordPress is a great platform to use and I highly encourage you to continue to use it. But you know, at the same time, you do really need to protect your blog, isn't it? Uh, all right, so because you don't want to end up with a huge, huge time wasted. Think about how much it will cost if your website just complete went offline for about an hour. Okay, all right. So uh, if your if your website can, you know, how much will it cost you to uh, uh, hire somebody fix your blog and over and over again? Okay, all right. So the cost is gonna be very, very high. But the good news is you can uh, um, study what you need to be doing to protect it. Uh, all your blogs so you won't happen to you okay all right so ladies and gentlemen this is the reason I have invite Matt here to talk about WordPress security I get I get asked that question a lot how do I protecting my blog what kind of plugin do I need to use how do I use it what kind of elements do I need to take in my hand to start protecting my blog today well I'm not I'm taking a challenge just like you and uh, but Matt has spent a tons, tons of time uh, to research how do you using free plugins to protect your blog. What plugin works well together? Okay, there are tons of security plugins now that do, does different jobs. But he has figured out hey specifically what plugin works well together, and for that purpose, this plugin is the best for it. Okay, so he uh, the story goes like his blog got hacked. Okay. And ever since he implemented his own method, uh, for the last 18 months, he uh, he owns like hundreds of blogs, has never been hacked. So that's great news, right? So I had to invite him to be here to teaching us exactly what you need to do uh, today, a couple methods you need to do today to starting implement to protecting your blog today. Some of the stuff is just so obvious, but hey, it's very important to know them, right? And he also shared a one cool website to check your vulnerabilities. It's a 100% free website. You just put your domain name in there. Uh, then you can see, hey, what are my security holes on my website? And so you can start to patch it up, right? Anyway, so uh, uh, at the end of this interview, Matt's gonna introduce a brand new product of his. Uh, by the way, it's a life, so you can click the link above or in cover besides me, you you go to the sales page, right? And I highly recommend to get it. If you own WordPress blog, get it, okay? All right, so, um, so ladies and gentlemen, please let me introduce to you the Block Defender. Block Defender. So what is Block Defender? Well, Block Defender is a comprehensive video training teach you exactly what you need to do by using the free plugins, free resources uh, to maximize your security for your own blog. So you will not have a devastating days, you know, once you log in online, hey, 
your your site and be indexed by Google or uh, your, your site is no longer available. You know, you, 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 you might have to restart the entire website. So before that things happens, you need to kind of uh, really look into how to protect your blog, right? So the, the seriousness is there and I think if you're intelligent enough, you know that, right? <laughs> anyway, so uh, let's come back to the interview here for a second. So Matt's gonna talk about his internet marketing journey, how he started. He's mainly focused on niche marketing and until the hacking happened, he was doing very well. Uh, then the, the hacker took his side down and uh, uh, he was devastated and I'm, I'm sure you can feel how he felt. If your side got him down, you be pissed and you be worried, you be concerned and you be like, how do I get my side back, right? So that's the reason he and his buddy, WordPress buddy, uh, did all kinds of research, did all kinds of, uh, um, went out his way to figure out, hey, how do I maximize uh, security for WordPress? So therefore he created this course to share with you, okay? All right, so he's gonna talk about that. And also he's gonna share some uh, ninja site to, to, I don't even know about, you can check instantly check your vulnerabilities for your website if it's WordPress, okay? And I talk about three, four, five, six different tips to instantly, you can do it today, uh, to implement, to map, to go ahead protecting your uh, website without even taking his training class. So, uh, um, but yeah, there, there is that, okay? All right, so, and, uh, and at the end of the interview, you're gonna see kind of he talking about detail about what is inside this course and how it's really gonna benefit you, all right? So guys, uh, this is some serious stuff, so let's all enjoy this interview, go watch this interview, learn from it, and most importantly, make sure you started protecting your WordPress site today at this one minute okay all right so this is your friend here uh please keep smiling and uh, until next time i'll be talking to you very very soon cheers hi good afternoon uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, this is your friend Han here and uh, it is absolutely great to see you this afternoon and uh, today i'm very, very excited to have matt uh, being with us uh, for the very, very first time. And he's gonna teach us a very, very important thing for anyone who owns a WordPress site. That is the the security. Uh, how do you really protect, protecting your blog so people don't use your sites for other uh, illegal reasons that you don't even know about? He's gonna talk about those issues inside this uh, uh, interview. And But most importantly, how do you can take immediate actions today to start protecting your uh, WordPress blog from you know from hackers to ever get into it, and he actually shared some awesome awesome ninja trick you can imply, implant, implement right away. So be very very excited and make sure you have a pen and paper ready. Um, and uh, at the end of this interview, he's gonna introduce a brand new product of his that's gonna give you a very comprehensive uh, education. How do you? Uh, gonna be fully protected by those hackers from future attacks, okay? And if you never uh, thought of protecting your blog, you're gonna find out why you need to pay attention to your WordPress blog. So before we get into all this excitement here, let's kind of learn how Matt got started with the internet marketing and most importantly, what did he do exactly uh, to achieve a level of success that he has today? So Matt, could you kind of take you over your mic and uh, share your unique internet marketing story with us today? Sure. Thanks, Han. Thanks for having me on. Um, yeah, okay. I've been making money online for quite a few years. I started off back in 1999. So uh, I guess I'm one of those people who's been there and done that and tried pretty much everything uh, that there is out there to try. Mm -hmm. I first started actually making some money back in 2000, and it was actually with niche sites. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't use blogs straight away, but obviously over time ended up using WordPress. Now, I've had plenty of successes and failures along the way. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not been an easy ride, but my niche sites have always been what kept me going, kept me, uh, had an income for me, mm -hmm. even when I messed up other things and got things wrong, which is so easy to do. You try different things, not everything works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, now, over the last decade, I haven't actually released many products as such, because I only tend to, I work a lot in my own business, so when I release a product, it's really something that is, uh, that I use in my own business and I've developed for my own business. So mm -hmm. things that actually work and help my own business grow. Now, Blog Defender actually came about because back in 2012, my sites were getting hacked on a really regular basis, uh, almost daily, if not. Got haters out there. <laughs> it just happens. It's got even worse since then. I ended up wasting a huge amount of time just trying to get the sites back up and running, mm -hmm. uh, and I was you know, running forwards and not getting anywhere because I was spending all that time 
trying to fix my sites, mm -hmm. not making any money. So while they were down, I was making no money and really struggling. So I had to come up with a way of stopping them get ha getting hacked in the first place. The final straw was actually uh, a site that I'd set up for my mother, of all people. She'd mm -hmm. never actually used it. There was no content on it. And someone hacked it and used it for a phishing attack to get people's PayPal email addresses. So it was a pretty serious attack. Uh, and got that site de-indexed from Google. That's the kind of thing that can happen. Mm -hmm. So I really needed to find a way of stopping that happening all the time to all my sites. Mm -hmm. I got together with a friend who's also a niche blogger and does SEO, and we spent months developing a product, uh, a way of securing our sites. That's what we ended up releasing as Blog Defender back in 2012. Mm -hmm. and since then, I've not had a single site hacked. So we know it works. Mm -hmm. However, uh, for this new release of Blog Defender that we're coming out with, we've actually rewritten it from the ground up because mm -hmm. there's been so many changes in security. There's more attacks going on. There's more sophisticated hackers out there, more sophisticated tools. Mm -hmm. So we had to go back and start from scratch, work out what's working now, and again, go through the whole testing of that on my own sites to make sure it does work. So that's what we've got. That's what we've done. Um, so that is essentially what Blog Defender will do for you. It will make sure your site doesn't get hacked like my mum's did uh, and used for some bad guy to try and steal PayPal addresses. Right, right. And, and you know what? From my personal experience, you know, when your site get a hack like that, and it's just devastating because you know, uh, you know, some of, for, for those who are watching this, you can probably uh, totally relate to this because your income just totally stopped <laughs> and, yep. and uh, you probably help somebody else you know building their uh, affiliate commissions and, and that's one of the reason people want to hack into your site is, is uh, swap out your affiliate for filling with theirs yeah, and uh, uh, steal your commissions. yeah steal your commissions from you and uh, uh, the time that you sign the every minute you signs down uh, and the, uh, who knows how much money you're losing out there and and uh, the, the the time that you had to Either hire somebody, which is going to be very expensive if you're not a technical person, and uh, the time you have to go fix it, talk to your hosting company, trying to restore the site to the, it's just a whole bunch of hassles, and uh, uh, it's better to prevent it from happening than actually dealing with it later. I can tell you that from my personal experience, and that's the reason I have to invite Matt here to kind of talk about this. What can you do right now uh, to to, to kind of uh, protecting yourself from it? So um, so you guys. Pay attention to this, and it's gonna be helping you uh, save a lot of hassles later on. And man, I tend to ask this question to everyone who I interview, and that is, um, to knowing what you know right now, because you obviously been doing internet marketing for a while now. What would it be top three tips or uh, successful tips to someone who's just starting out with internet marketing, um, and maybe still kind of looking for different arenas to get into? Uh, but hasn't finally made made the first dollar yet. What would it be, maybe, to knowing what you know right now? Maybe to uh, giving them some advice or for encouragement as well. Uh, what would it be the top three advice you give give it to someone like that? <clears throat> first of all, uh, the biggest problem most of us have, and I get it the same as everybody else, is jumping from one product or one shiny item to another. Mm -hmm. you know, you've got to find something that works for you and stick with it to make it work. Okay. It's so easy to get distracted. Um, you know, for me, the niche sites have always been there. I've always spent time on them. When I go off and do something else, sometimes mm -hmm. it works, sometimes it doesn't, mm -hmm. and it costs me money uh, because I'm you know, flitting around from one thing to another. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the other thing I've, it's easier to do with something like niche sites is have more than one uh, income source. You know, okay. so I've got niches, sites in different niches. Mm -hmm. I've got different ways of monetizing those blogs. So some are AdSense, some are list building, some are CPA ads. Mm -hmm. That means I'm not reliant on one particular thing. Okay. okay. Uh, and the third part there, again, is build your list. Mm. Yeah. Uh, one of the great things with a niche blog is you can use it to build an email list who you can then email offers to on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Speaking of building a list, and Matt has a kind of give us a bonus for that reason. Well, we'll talk about that in a minute. So, so uh, to sum it up, uh, your, your tips is stay focused and and absolutely in taking actions, right? And yep. secondly, is uh, you know diversify your income, have a multiple stream of income in different niches. So in case one niche dies, you still got multiple stream income comes in. And thirdly, is build your list from a day one, from the get go, right? Because your list is where the money is. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, simple things, but we, sometimes we need reminding that those core elements are important. Right, right, cool. So, all right, thanks for sharing that. So let's kind of talk about um, the, the, the WordPress security issues here now. So for those who are maybe just kind of starting using WordPress and, and doesn't know the seriousness of a, a security host that WordPress has, let's talk about why should someone like that start to pay attention to the security of their uh, WordPress site. Why is it important to, to start a, uh, obviously protecting your WordPress press site from the day one, you know? <clears throat> uh, all sorts of reasons. One of, one of the common sort of misconceptions is, well, my site's not getting that much traffic, so why would a hacker be interested in it? Right, right, right. You've got to understand that most hackers, they're, they're not too bothered, they're not always bothered about your site itself and what traffic you have. Mm -hmm. that can, once they've hacked it, they can use that as a tool to attack other sites. Mm. So they're actually building a whole bunch of sites that they've hacked that then focus on another site to take it down or to hack it. Mm -hmm. They can also use your site, as I said earlier, for a phishing uh, expedition to try and get people's bank account details or PayPal logon info. Uh, and that, you know, that's the classic one where if your site is used for that, not only have you got a problem with Google, they're probably going to de-index your site, but you can also get in trouble with the law. You know, that's a conversation you don't want when the phone rings and says, "Excuse me, your site seems to be used, uh, being used to gather people's bank information." That's not a conversation you want to happen at all. Mm -hmm. So, with this sort of stuff, it's it's going on all the while. The number of hacks, the number of attacks, has increased and increased and increased over the last eighteen months. Okay. Uh, it's scary the number of attacks that are going on now. And I mean, if you want to see just how secure your blog is right now, you can go to something like uh, hackertarget.com okay. and choose the WP WordPress online scan option. Okay. And put in your own URL, and it will show things like the current version of WordPress you're on, which theme you're using, which plugins you're using, mm -hmm. which folders are unsecure. So mm -hmm. you can see straight away a whole lot of information that the hackers have access to. Mm -hmm. They can even see the username for your admin user. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, it's a simple one for brute force attacks. That's the first thing they do is go after uh, the admin user by using the word admin as a username and a whole bunch of random passwords. Mm -hmm. And they can just set a bot to run 24 hours a day mm -hmm. to put in those random passwords until they find the right combination mm -hmm. and back they're into your site. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you know, I think it, if you. If you've been on the internet for a while, you're gonna get one of those attacks, just even without you knowing or not knowing. And you know, and then the one thing you, you if your site starts to kind of like loading very slowly, you're probably under attack, uh, yeah. brutal force attack, because they tied up your server uh, when they when that happens. And then then, then when you go into the your cPanel, you look at your CPUs like at 100 percent. There's no reason for that. Then you gotta some, uh, you know, you gotta kind of like, hey, am I under attack? So it's time to contact your hosting company, look under to see, hey, uh, what's happening? Why, why am my CPU running at 100%? Because there's no reason your CPU uh, should be running 100%. That's why the reason your your site start loading very very slowly. Uh, you in your cPanel by going to AW Stats, mm -hmm. look at which pages are being hit the most. Mm -hmm. If your login page is being hit hundreds or even thousands of times a day, mm -hmm. you're under attack. Mm -hmm. Guys are actually th they're even stealing your bandwidth. Mm -hmm. Right, and and the one of the plugin you can like free plugin you can install uh, like instantly for that. What I learned so far, you can correct me. Uh, is, is I think it's called WP Lockup, and and uh, one of those one of those plugin can uh, you can time them out. So if they are they can give uh, say hey three tries to lock in, or if they don't lock, lock in, in you know with three tries you can ban them for a certain amount of minutes and for like an hour or two three hour the entire day <laughs> if you want to. So uh, so that's the one thing you can do right away to, to kind of stop that. And you will you will see once you install that your 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 CPU drops right away because <laughs> those IP addresses immediately being blocked. So uh, if you're taking notes, uh, I think it's called WP Lockup or something. Very similar to that. If you search for it, it's it's free. Yeah, and, and, we have something for that in Blog Defender as well. Yeah. Um, but to be honest, if you're using a, a dedicated server or virtual private server, your host should actually have firewall software so that mm -hmm. you don't need that plugin. Mm. Okay. 
And, and just this is probably just for those people just starting out in internet camp for the VPS. Yeah, probably you can share host account, you know, and maybe help them out a little bit that you can what you can do right now to install that. And and let's talk about some of the reasons because um, you mentioned something about fish attack. Well, probably people doesn't know what fish attack is. And just let's talk about some of the reasons that hackers trying to use your site for some uh, uh, illegal things that that we need to kind of watch out for. That we don't even know we are legally bound to it, <laughs> and that kind of you know not trying to scare you guys, but this happens every single day, so you need kind of watch out for it. As, as I said, that happened to my mum's blog, which had no content on it. Um, yeah, phishing attack is a really simple example. Basically, they need somewhere to host a page that looks like the PayPal login or your bank login, ah. so that then you, you they send you to that page, they redirect you somehow, probably from someone else's site. You go land on that page, it looks like PayPal or it looks like your bank. You pop your details in and hey presto, they've got them. Mm, and, and you are, as the domain host uh, um, owner, you are legally bound you, uh, to that even you don't even know. You probably I'm don't even know. Lawyer. I'm, I'm sorry. Lawyer, so I can't really answer that. But uh -huh. um, you would certainly, because if it's found, if that page is found, you know, if it's reported to the uh, legal authorities, mm -hmm. they're going to get in touch with you first because it's on your site. Uh, so you're, you're certainly going to get a phone call uh, okay. saying what's going on. Mm -hmm. You need to be able to prove that it's not you. Um, you know, someone else has done that to your site, which is very difficult to do. Mm -hmm. So you don't really want to get to that stage where you're in that situation. You've got to stop your site being hacked in the first place. Mm -hmm. I totally, I totally agree. Yeah, I, I never, yeah, I don't, I don't even know what fish attack. I'm glad that we talk about this right now, kind of learn that. And and uh, you mentioned one of the thing is is uh, how to check your vulnerability by going to this one site, um, is that hackertarget.com. Hackertarget.com. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. uh, it's a great little site. It'll just highlight some of the basic un, uh, vulnerabilities uh, and show you how easy it is for hackers to get some simple information about your site. Yeah, simply the, the version of WordPress you're on, that can help them work out what vulnerabilities to attack. Because old, if you're still on an older version of WordPress, they will know exactly what to target based on the version that you're running. Mm -hmm. So if you hide that version from them, that cuts out one of their options. Mm -hmm. the theme using. If the theme, if they can get the access or the information of exactly which theme you're, you're using on your blog, if they know of a vulnerability, they can target that vulnerability straight away. Mm. So a simple, uh, sim there is a, a simple way of hiding that. It's not something you'll hear from most people because uh, it's one of those sort of ninja techniques that real yeah. security people know. The theme that you're using has a folder under WP Content. Okay. Theme. If you change the name of that folder, it will hide it basically, so oh, that okay. anybody can't see what theme you're using. The important bit, if you want to try that, you've got to get it just right. Okay, what you need to do first is deactivate your theme in WordPress. Okay. So choose a different theme. Then you go into FTP, go to WP Content, go to Themes, find the folder for the theme that you're using that you want to change. Mm -hmm. Change the name of that folder. Change it to something simple, just as theme. It can be anything, as long as it's not the name of the theme itself. Okay, so anything else, call it that. Come back into WordPress, you will need to refresh the page with your themes on, then reactivate that theme. Uh, once you refresh it, you should actually see the name change, so you know it's worked. Then reactivate that theme. I would also recommend that once you've done so, go and check that it's not broken your blog. That should work with most themes. Some it may not, depending on how badly they're coded. If it's a bad theme, there might be hard code in there to that particular folder name, in which case it could break. So always check your WordPress blog is still up and running. So if it is, simply go back and rechange the folder name back okay. to what it was. Okay. All right. Okay. That, that's right. one that you can check on hackertarget.com. Uh, bring that up, and once you've done that, your theme name won't appear. All right. Let's talk about, like, if I just going out there, start a, a, a brand new WordPress site right now, like bare bone, what are the common vulnerability that, that he's building there. Let's talk about some of the elements people can really check that they didn't probably even even think about. You know, they say, hey, you got this uh, automatic uh, uh, installation service from your hosting company, just 
install a brand new WordPress, they probably don't even think about the change. For example, add a name to a different name. But what are the common uh, vulnerability that you know a bare bone WordPress site has that we need to really, really start to watching out for and, and start to protecting? The, the two simplest and most obvious are, as you've mentioned, the admin name being admin. Mm -hmm. you know, that, that's uh, everybody does it uh, until you do it otherwise. So when people are doing it, or hackers are doing a brute force attack. That's what they target. They target the username admin and just loads of random passwords. Mm. If you've already set up your blog, then you'll discover that you can't change that name from admin. Okay, mm. so that's your problem. What you actually do is a simple way to do it. You create a new admin user with an entirely different name, log out, log back in as that new admin, and delete the old admin with the name admin, and it's gone. And that is such a simple way of getting rid of that problem. Mm -hmm. And we actually have a uh, plugin that will change the name of the admin for you, so mm -hmm. it's even simpler. Uh, but yeah, there's a manual way you can do it by creating a new admin with a different name and getting rid of the old one. Right. Another tip I want to give out, I'm sure you already know, is just simply change the default uh, WordPress login URL, right? Because a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people just go to the you know login.php. They think that's the only way to lock it in. But there is a way to change the default login actually URL so the hacker don't even find it. We, we, we that as well. You know it, and then you people know it, but other people don't even know about, hey, this has been changed. As well, yeah, it's, it's the the default login is where hackers will first start for a brute force attack, and if they, if that's not there or if it's hidden, they've got nowhere to go. Yeah, uh, they need to go somebody else. <laughs> they go for another next easier victim, right? So just make sure that's not you. <laughs> yeah. Simple so, things like that can make all the difference. Uh huh. And and, uh, and the, the database, the, the the header of the database uh, name, uh, it, it was it's always default to WP. So yeah. that that can be also modified as well, right? Again, that's something that's very difficult to do through uh, PHP. My admin in, C in cPanel, you can do it, but it's quite difficult. So mm -hmm. again, we've got a plugin that will just do that for you. Okay. You type in or randomize the new uh, part, first part the suffix, mm -hmm. uh, do it for you, or prefix. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool, 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 yeah. And yeah, there's just so many, the, the problem with WordPress, I mean, it's, it's a great platform because, you know, um, it, it's very versatile and makes your web page look so nice and you can install different plugins for different purposes, but the, the major problem is open source because that means all the hackers have all the code. <laughs> it's just yeah. wide open now there. Uh, and and uh, uh, for really someone who's a programmer or uh, really into those kind of stuff. They, it's, it's open book, <laughs> basically. There are black hat sites out there which will show you the latest vulnerabilities in plugins and themes, and you can actually download the mm -hmm. software you need to target them. You know, it's it's so easy to become a hacker nowadays. That's why there are so many. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the, the, the sheer number of plugins and themes is part of the power of WordPress, but it's also what makes it vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So we're talking about. There's awesome, I mean, not awesome, uh, obviously, uh, tons, tons of loophole with WordPress, and we talked about a couple of tips on, you know, how do you immediately uh, uh, protecting your blogs, and uh, um, obviously, we don't have all the time in the world to talk about that, because there's so many of them. Um, just kind of recap a little bit, uh, you need to change your default admin name to something else. Um, your, your training course is going to actually have a free plugin to help them to, 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 to make that happen. And the uh, second thing is, you know, simply just kind of change your theme folders and you kind of walk into a very, very short version of it. I'm sure your training is going to, uh, in detail, to walk them to how to do that. And, yeah. and, the, and the thirdly is, you know, change your lock-in, default lock-in, the URL. That's like, that's like the, the first thing you need to do <laughs> and uh, to kind of prevent people trying to hack into your sites. And, and thirdly, fourthly, it's probably too obvious. Is keep your WordPress theme updated, right? Yep. Latest version, right? <laughs> WordPress latest version. Yeah, so, so for those who you know, if you've been around for a while, you have a whole bunch of domain name, a whole bunch of sites out there. You have not logged in lately. You know, the simple things to do is perhaps you can hire a VA do this. Log into every one of those sites and 
hit update <laughs> and, and uh, make sure everything's updated so you don't have the security vulnerability. And give us that, the, the, the URL for that one site again, just for those who are trying to write it down, hasn't had the time to write it down, uh, to check the vulnerability. Maybe kind of spell up for, spelled it out for them as well. It's Hacker Targets, H A C K E R T A R G E T dot com. Let me just check that, make sure I have got that right. Hacker. Yep, that's the one. So H A C K E R T A R G E T dot com. Hacker Target. And at the top of the screen, you'll see uh, a bit that says Online Scanners. Okay. Uh, sort of hover over that and it brings up a drop down list and the third option along is CMS apps and the first one is WordPress scanner that's the one you're looking for and that will just bring up an option where you can pop in the URL of your site and it will just give you a report of some of the simple things that are available to any hacker. Yeah and then this is a free site right because I see membership stuff in there. Um, uh, the is free. Yeah, the, there are more advanced things you can use it for if you want to for scanning. Um, what we just use it for checking basics. Okay, cool. All right, so guys, I'm gonna actually have this link for you uh, inside the email just in case you guys need it. So, uh, um, so kind of just look out for that for your convenience. And uh, um, yeah, cool. I didn't know about this side before. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing. So let's talk about the offer itself now and uh, um, a couple questions about it. So let's talk about the name of the product, time of the launch, and who's going to be really benefit for getting this. Well, the product itself is Blog Defender. Um, as I said, we did a, an initial launch of this back in December 2012, but this new version isn't just a sort of spruced up freshened version, it is a total rewrite to bring it bang up to date. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's called Blog Defender, it's launching on Wednesday the 23rd of April at 11am EST, Eastern Standard Time, mm -hmm. um, and who it's for, basically anybody who runs a WordPress blog, mm -hmm. uh, and if you don't want your site to be hacked, you need security. So okay. it's all about showing you exactly how to make your site secure, or as secure as it possibly can be using a whole series of free plugins um, and some extra bits and pieces that we've developed ourselves to make sure that your site's safe, basically. And that the tutorial videos go through every step in detail and explain exactly what we're doing as well. So you know for some things you may want to do it, for some things you may not want to do it. So we inform you the pros and cons so you can make a decision as to whether it's worth doing it for your site or not, because every site can be slightly different. You know, if you're running a membership site, you might not want to use some of the security in there because it can cause your members problems logging in. Okay, mm -hmm. so the tutorials go through quite a lot of detail, but we keep them very simple, step by step, as to what you need to do and how. Now, I, 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 I kind of sh should have asked this uh, um, doing the uh, FAQ section, but I forgot to ask me is. Uh, let's talk about membership site because that's that's a very different than a normal niche site, right? So, yeah. and a lot of the plugin that I personally try before, like the if you change the UR, default URL of uh, uh, login, and then you, your membership site script doesn't work anymore. So, can you kind of maybe quickly run through how do you go about around that problem and, and maybe kind of help me out <laughs> a little bit? Most, most of the plugins, um, some of them will work for membership sites, some might cause you a problem. Where that is the case, we, we specifically point that out. Mm -hmm. But the example you're talking about, where you change the login URL, mm -hmm. all you need to do is on your uh, menu system at the top or the bottom of the site, mm -hmm. have a link for the login, mm -hmm. and instead of having the regular WordPress login, you put in whatever you were using as the ah, new Ah, okay. That makes sense. We do that ourselves on our own membership sites. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks for jump that one in there and, and uh, yeah I was wondering how to do it because I, I changed the URL and the memscript script started freaking out break and, and I, I'm lost from there I'm not a very technical person and so let's talk about what exactly is uh, inside the front end what exactly are they getting and let's talk about the starting up price is on diamond sale also how many days are you going to keep this special offer open uh, we're running it on a dime sale. Uh, we're starting at $17 and just running that for seven days, at okay. which point it goes back up to the full price of $37. Um, so it is just a, a special week-long 
uh, offer because we're relaunching this new version. We thought we'd you know, lower the price, get give people a chance to get in and grab the new version cheap. Mm -hmm. um, the actual product itself, it's a series of, I think, 17 or 18 tutorial videos now. We keep adding to them, basically, uh, and we do update them, um, teaching you how to use both free plugins and some of the extra bits that we provide ourselves for you. So it is, you know, step-by-step -step guide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so so this is a not only a training but also a a, a, a kind of how to get the free plugin to start protecting your sites, right? Or are there do you have a plugin solutions for them as well? Kind of yeah, clarify are, that. The plugins are all available free from the WordPress directory. The problem okay. with security plugins is there are lots and lots and lots of them, mm -hmm. and they often conflict. Mm. So end up using two or three or four or five different ones that don't talk to each other and break. Uh, but you, so, you're going to teach them the exact ones that are going to talk to each other and works well with each other and the, absolutely the best one they should be for, for the blog, right? And then the clients as well. Yeah, the best ones that work together that won't make each other fall over or conflict and exactly which parts of each blog in to, uh, of each plugin to use because you want to use some bits in one and some bits in another, again, to make sure you don't get conflicts. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I personally need to study this myself as well. Um, I'm always getting notifications, people trying to get get to me. Uh, so and so that's that. And uh, what is the OTO? Uh, the first OTO is for the developer's edition, uh, which basically allows you to then use that to sell the information or to charge your clients for actually setting up their blogs and the security on their blogs and showing them how. Um, <clears throat> we've also included in there some extra tutorials for how to lock down some of the commercial site uh, sites because they can be different in what you need to do again. So it's, it's partly about commercial sites and it's partly about making sure you've got a developer's license. So explain what can you do with a developer license? I think uh, um, uh, what can you not do with a developer license? Just to be very clear uh, with those who want to get it so they don't get the wrong idea. Basically you can put it on as many sites as you want including your clients sites. That's the main point. You can actually use Blog Defender to secure your clients sites. So and is, is, I'm sorry, is Blog Defender a, a single plugin or is it training when you say you can put on other there's stuff. training, but we also have uh, some extra bits in there. That's not actually a plugin. It's uh, a HD access file that mm -hmm. we developed ourselves. Ah, okay, okay. So when you say you can put on clients' website, I get confused. It's video training for you. Free plugins. I mean, obviously they're free plugins. Do what you want with those. Um, but uh -huh. we've got some extra bits that go an extra step to okay. uh, really lock out bad bots and things like that. Okay. It's part of the secret source of the product. Okay. All right. So this is why I'm being very, very clear here, so so my people don't get confused. And, and how much is that? Uh, it's also on a dime sale. We're starting at twenty-seven dollars, and it goes up to forty-seven. Okay. Now, do you have any other OTO after that as well? Uh, yeah, we've got one for PC Security mas Masterclass. Uh, okay. That is simply showing people how to secure their PC. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have a Mac version available at the moment, um, but then Macs are tend to be less vulnerable to uh, viruses and things like that anyway. So, um, so what are the topics you'll be going over for the PC security? Different. Just give us some uh, kind of ballpark idea what we'll, we'll, we'll be getting inside there as well. How to check whether you've got any bad malware on your PC at the moment, mm -hmm. how to clean up your registry and speed your PC up, mm -hmm. uh, how to remove bad bits of software and bad malware, and how to protect your PC from mm -hmm. bad malware and things like that, mm -hmm. including how to secure some of your uh, important files. I mean, the best example is there is a, a piece of malware called CryptoLocker um, that came out, I think it was around November, December last year. Mm -hmm. And what it will do is it will look for all your important document files, such as uh, WordPress documents, Excel spreadsheets, things like those, and it will encrypt them. Mm -hmm. um, 256 bit encryption and mm -hmm. then it will pop up with a message saying if you want access to these files here's where to send some money. It's basically ransomware or blackmail software uh, and if you don't pay you've basically had your data files locked down and encrypted so you can't get access to them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we've got a, we, uh, there is a free bit of software which we show you how to use 
that should stop that happening. Mm -hmm. I guarantee it. At the moment, it does. Don't know how they're going to change crypto locker in the future, but mm -hmm. at the moment, it will stop crypto locker uh, encrypting your secure files. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, get your PC, get the virus or malware. It's it's devastating too. You know, you got your yeah. bank information, yeah. you got your uh, Facebook logins. You know, you guys know that it's in any your you have potential, have entire data get lost. So it, it, that's that's very as the internet market, that's very very important protecting as well. Uh, that's kind of without saying, and and that's another reason I have a Mac as well, just as a backup. Uh, something happens. I mean, I mean, when you're running a business online, you really can't afford it one day going down uh, to be despaired neither. So uh, always always protect yourself, and uh, it's kind of very very important, right? <clears throat> so after that one, what, what, how much is that one? Uh, that's nineteen ninety five. Okay, 20 bucks. All right, so is that on time sale as well? Or? No, that's just a one-off. Okay, cool. So after that, do you have any more? Or? Uh, well, there is one more for WPA. Obviously, these are uh, they're structured in such a way that it's very easy for you to say no thanks and ignore okay. it. Okay. Um, the last one is for WP Simulator, mm -hmm. which is one of our existing programs which shows you how to set up and use a local host set up for your WordPress blogs. Basically that means you can set up your blogs on your own PC or Mac rather than having them online and you can play with them there, test out new plugins and new themes, get them how you want before you then copy them back up to your live site. Now, yep. The best example of how that can be useful is if, if you want to change your theme on an existing site, if you just activate the new theme it probably won't work very well. There'll be reformatting that you've got to do to make it all look correct. Mm -hmm. You can do that on your local host version, so it's not affecting your live site at all. Play around with it, get it correct, and then redeploy it to your live site. Okay, okay. So cool. All right. So uh, anything after that? <laughs> I'm going to keep asking that question. <laughs> Are you here yet? <laughs> Are you there yet? <laughs> That's all. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, um, so that's pretty much all the questions I need to ask you here, Matt. And uh, but we've got one final question. Um, got, got to put on your hot seat a little bit here. And uh, as people watching this interview, they know they absolutely need to protect their WordPress site and their PC, right? And then, I mean, it's, it's just so many things could happen to them, and it's so valuable to us this day that we need to absolutely protecting the site to, to make sure nobody using for illegal reason and you're not losing money. Uh, you know, I don't think anybody can afford when it comes to the internet marketing business to afford a site going down for even one minute or, or, or a couple of hours. Uh, you put aside a days and month, you know, because you got hacked. Um, and and uh, so they want they want to get this training. They want to kind of learn how to immediately protecting the sites to protect the money and all that great stuff. And but you know, everybody got that little voice on the back of their head saying, "Hey, don't get it," because uh, you know you you. you they have the other security training out there, so you know whatever the reason it is. So my question to you, Matt, is what makes your product so unique or so stands out? You think they should absolutely grab from at launching time? Uh, the proof is in the pudding. We've got, uh, I've got personally over 200 niche sites out there. None of them have, have been hacked at all in the last 18 months. Okay. This works. You know, it is as I said earlier, it is something that we developed ourselves for our own business. So we developed it to make sure it will keep our site safe and secure. Uh, that is the best reason in the world. You know, it works for us. We know it works. We also continue testing it uh, because we've got to continue to keep our site safe. So as we come across new issues, uh, new updates that need to be done, we put those in as well. We like to keep our products up to date. It's not just a case of, right, here it is. Go away. We'll take your money. We keep things up to date for you to make sure that it's still up to date in a year or two's time. Okay, all right, great, great, great. So, and on that note, guys, if you're watching this, this is some serious stuff that, uh, I mean, if you don't get this course, but still still doing something, do your own independent research how to protect your WordPress site. I mean, after all, WordPress, it is like open book because <laughs> it's open sourced. And, and uh, you know, it, Matt's already done all the hard work. He already tested him for 18 months here uh, on his own sites and, uh, hey, why why not take the shortcut right? Because I think virtually anybody who owns the uh, anything WordPress related need to have this kind of knowledge. Because 
uh, it will cost you a lot more uh, for only you know seventeen dollars. Is it is it twenty seven or seventeen? I'm sorry. <laughs> On a dime sale from seventeen. Yeah, only for uh, uh, for only investment of seventeen dollars, you're gonna probably potentially save your money. Uh, you know, uh, two hundred to a thousand dollar fix later on. So uh, to me, it's no brainer. It's it's, it's no brainer. And if you can't afford uh, the seventeen dollars here, hold on, let me fix my screen real quick. Sorry, time now. Oh, it's the the time that it took us to research. All the different variations of all the different plugins and exactly which ones work together mm -hmm. fits to use. It is, I mean, this new version has taken us probably two to three months in research plus testing time as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it's a lot of time invested to make sure it all works. Mm -hmm. If you want to spend that time yourself and become an expert, feel free to do so. This is just our way of offering you a shortcut. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, so on that note, guys, and um, um, before we leave here today, Matt, do you have any maybe final words of wisdom you'd like to share? Uh, I think covered it in uh, when you asked earlier on about the top three things to do as an internet marketer. Don't get too distracted by different things. Mm -hmm. You know, keep focus. It's so easy to do in our industry. You get uh, sidetracked down a different road. Mm -hmm. Keep your eye on the goal. Keep working on what works for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so guys, if you are watching this, uh, make sure you kind of, uh, in fact, the, the, the offer is already live um, by the time you're watching this. So click the link above, or, uh, you know, link, uh, you know, you cover besides me. Go check out the offer, go grab it. And uh, if you need a, need a little more push, and, and, and here's the thing uh, Matt's uh, kind of enough offering uh, another awesome plugin of his, it's called WP Appian. And uh, as a, 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 a bonus if you purchase through my link, so uh, that gives you an incentive to get it. And I'm also, I'm, I'm also personally going to add more bonus to that package. So I am going to email this with my personal review tomorrow, uh, but if you want to absolutely grab this at the lowest possible price, you can go ahead and click the link uh, above me, beside me, but you guys get it, <laughs> or the e-cover. Uh, go ahead and grab this. And I think, uh, uh, seriously, as a, as a WordPress owner, uh, you really need it protecting all your money size or for that matter, any size you have out there because like he said, even the size you have no content on that could be potentially be hacked and you could be legally bound to the things you don't even know you did. And then and, and, you know, so and, and, and it's, it's again, it's better to protect it now than be sorry later. So I'm gonna just gonna end up on that. And Matt, thank you so much for spending your time with us and I'm looking forward to learn more from you as well. Thank you, Han. Thank you for the opportunity. All right, cheers. Cheers. Hi, I'd just like to give you a couple of examples of what can happen when your blog is hacked and the kind of attacks that are happening to sites on a daily basis. The sheer number of attacks has increased massively over the last 18 months and is only going to continue getting worse. If you haven't been hacked yet, it really is simply a matter of time. In just one attack in March, over 160,000 sites were hacked and used to attack other sites. Now you may not think your site is valuable to hackers, but to a hacker, every site is a valuable resource for further attacks, spreading malware and information theft. It took one expert four minutes to hack the Obamacare site and get access to 70,000 people's records. Recently, even the Certified Ethical Hackers Council site got hacked, and these guys are the experts. It's so bad, they're now looking at legislation.
the FTC is talking to Congress about having the power to fine people who let their sites get hacked. It's already starting to happen. In the UK, a site owner has been fined hundreds of thousands of pounds, even though they're a charity. Right now, according to Sophos Security, 73% of WordPress sites are vulnerable to attack. Does that include your site? And now I'm going to show you what hackers do and how you can test whether your site is vulnerable. The examples I'm going to use in this video are over 18 months old simply because this is the last time any of my sites got hacked. They are still targeted every day, but since I've been using Blog Defender, none of my sites have fallen foul of hackers. And let me show you why. Now this is actually an old site that I set up back in 2009 for my mother, uh, chrisgarrett.co.uk, and she's never actually used it, so there's uh, sort of a, an introductory post on there and that's it. So it's a very quiet blog, gets practically zero traffic, it's never been used for anything, and yet it still got hacked. It got targeted and are hacked, even though there are no backlinks pointing to it, only one post, etc. Now, when I first found out this was hacked, the only reason I found out was the host told me. Obviously, it's not a blog that I'm regularly keeping an eye on. So I found out through the web hosts themselves who suspended the account. Now, here I am in the cPanel AW stats for uh, the site itself. And we can see here chrisgarrett.co.uk looking at September 2012. It was September that this happened in. Now, if I scroll up, you can see that generally this site gets very, very little traffic, uh, 50 to 60 or 70 uniques a month. So it's a very quiet blog. As I say, there's practically nothing on there. And then in September, all of a sudden, the numbers went up massively. And you can see here, 7th, 8th, 9th of September, suddenly they were doing 400 visits a day, 700 visits a day, 300 that would have probably been higher again, except that's when the account got suspended. And if I scroll down, you'll see the days targeted were Friday, Saturday and Sunday, which I suspect may be deliberate, uh, maybe an attempt to catch the Webmaster 8 because they're off for the weekend, not working. OK, let's scroll down a bit further and have a look at what was actually going on. OK, here's the important bit, the pages URLs. Here's the code that's been inserted into the blog. And this looks like PP update. In fact, if I scroll down here, I think there's one that actually says PayPal on it uh, somewhere. Can't find it now. I'm sure there's one here that says PayPal. Uh, basically, what this looks like it's being used for is a landing page for a phishing trip to get people to put in their PayPal uh, email address and password to grab that, steal it, and basically uh, hijack their PayPal account. Okay, so you can see how important this is. This site effectively now will have a bad reputation. I'm gonna have to put in requests with Google uh, and Yahoo and Bing to get it re-included in the index because it most likely will have been dropped. Um, in fact, if we went to one of these pages, you'll see what we get is this website has been reported as unsafe. Okay, so I've tried to go to one of those URLs and it's brought up this warning message. In fact, if that's what it looks like in Internet Explorer, uh, this is the version for Firefox. So you can see it's, it's really not a nice screen. Uh, it gives information on why this page was blocked and basically gives the option to get me out of here. The option to ignore this warning and continue to the page is there, but it's basically tiny. Um, and the same is true on Internet Explorer. Basically, it's going to take you back to your home page. So really, if this happens, if your site gets hacked in this way and used for a phishing trip or something like this, then basically you're going to get no traffic from here on in until you get it re-included, if you can get it re-included, in Google and Bing and Yahoo. So you really, really don't want this to happen, okay? So that's a quick look at what can happen when your site is hacked. Now let's look at another example. This is where hackers are trying to force their way in to a site using a brute force attack. Basically, they're throwing lots of username and password variations at the logins page in the hope of hitting the right combination. So let's take a quick look at a series of warning emails that dropped into my inbox to let me know that this blog was under a brute force attack. I'm going to pop across to my email box. Uh, I'm just using Outlook here. 
and here are some of the emails that have come in. Now the important bit here to look at is down here at the bottom. You can see that what they're trying to do is use the admin username root and a password gelzo. If we go up to another one, there'll be a different uh, password. Uh, it's the same username root they're trying, but a different password. And if we scroll up through, you can see the lots of these coming in. Uh, all on the same day, all within minutes of each other, all within the same minute here, 10.38. You can see how fast these attacks are occurring. And if I scroll down again, you'll see this time it's still username root, but this time a different password again. So if I scroll up, let's go a bit further up. So you can see hundreds of these things are basically coming through. And it's still going for the admin username root, but another password this time. Uh, let's scroll up again and let's have a look at this time it's still uh, no it's a different username it's webmaster and now it's going after the password administrator one two three four five six this is an ex classic example of a brute force attack we're basically using they're using automated software to try and hack the site by guessing basically the username for the admin and the password and they have as much time as they want to do this effectively because they have a massive list of different usernames and passwords and they'll just run through them using automated software until they happen across the correct one. As soon as they got that, they're into your site, you've lost it, you've lost control and the damage is done, okay? So that's just a couple of quick examples, but to check things for yourself, you can go to a site like Hacker Target and under the online scanners, choose WordPress scanner and you'll come up with this page where you can pop in your own domain URL to get an idea of how secure your site is and what information your site is broadcasting that can be used by a hacker to attack you. This example is a basic WordPress setup and you can see hackers have a bunch of ways in already. They can see which version of WordPress it is, they can see which theme the site is using, as well as the admin username for their brute force attack and they can also get access to the uploads and plugins folder so they can see what's installed and find potential vulnerabilities to exploit on your site. Why would you let hackers have all this information for free? Here's another example and this site has been locked down using Blog Defender and as you can see we've hidden a whole bunch of that information from them. They can't see the WordPress version, they can't see the theme we're using, they can't see the usernames and they can't see the uploads or plugins folder. Now that's a big improvement. Not only this, but Blog Defender will also show you how to protect your site from spammers, hackers, fake bots, botnets, data miners, and other scumbags who want to ruin your business. And that's exactly what Blog Defender shows you in simple to follow step-by-step -step videos, all using free plugins and bespoke tools to make sure your WordPress site is secure. Grab Blog Defender today and learn how to lock down your site before it's too late.